This video will help you to make an in-camera LUT for the Lumix cameras that offer Vlog or Vlog L photo styles. This is a clip I made of a scene I want to film. It's in the middle of the afternoon, but I want it to look like sunset in the final sequence, and I'd like to see what that looks like as I film it. To get that look in the first place, I took the original clip I filmed into DaVinci Resolve and made my colour and contrast adjustments as if I was grading the final film. It's pretty important at this stage that you've got the exposure the way you want it in camera and that you've achieved a neutral white balance. As you don't want to include those corrections in a LUT that you might use in different situations. This way your LUT can be about contrast, a tone curve and the colour adjustments, not about exposure. Once you're happy with the look you've created, right click on the clip in the timeline and select Generate LUT. Another collection of options opens, from which you need to pick Panasonic VLUT. This will give you the .vlt file you need to load to the camera. Also at this stage you can create a 3D cube file that you can use as a LUT for grading the final footage in your software. For this, select either 33 point cube or 65 point cube. If you aren't sure which to use, go for the 33 point option. With the .vlt file exported to your computer, you can rename it to something meaningful and copy it to a memory card. Drag it over and drop it into the top level of the card's directory to make it easy for the camera to find. Put the card into the camera and go to the settings menu and find vlog view assist. Select read LUT file and the camera will ask you from which slot. Navigate to the card and your LUT should show up. Select it, tell the camera which position you want to overwrite, and the camera will save the LUT to its internal memory. All you have to do then is navigate to LUT Select and tell the camera to use the LUT you just uploaded. To see the effects of the LUT, you need to ensure that you've enabled the LUT to be broadcast to the monitor you're using. If you're using the camera's rear screen or the EVF, you need to switch on Monitor. And if you're using an HDMI monitor, you need to activate the HDMI option. I'm recording this via the HDMI port, so switching off the HDMI LUT monitoring will show me the VLOG profile. Switching the monitor on here and using the default 709 LUT will show a clean and standard conversion. But then selecting my new sunset LUT shows the way I intend the final version of the sequence to look. In this split screen, you can see the three view options shown together. In this case, the straight V-log is easy enough to view actually, but it helps to get into the atmosphere of a scene when you can preview the final look while you're actually shooting it. 